found this playoff simulator on ESPN's website. You pick who's going to win each game, and then it just updates the playoff picture live right in front of your eyes. So I thought every week, let's do that. During the NFL's postseason era, when people are fighting for a playoff spot, let's just pick the favorites based off of what Vegas is saying. What are the odds? Who's favorited to, w- to win each game? And then see how that updates the playoff picture. So for week 16, let me go ahead and flip this over to my computer and uh, show you guys this playoff simulator Whoop, right over here. Okay, so we've got the Thursday night game, right, between the uh, 49ers and the Titans. Uh, according to Vegas, right now the favorites are the 49ers to win on the road. Surprisingly, three and a half point favorites. So let's go ahead and click them to win, right? How does that update the playoff picture? Well, now you've got the uh, 49ers down here at 9-6 and six, uh, at the 6th seed, and then the Titans at 3rd seed. So it doesn't really affect it that much just, just based off of one game. But that just gives you an idea of, okay, how this little playoff simulator works. Now let's go over to Christmas Day, however, with the Browns and the Packers. Looking at those games, we've got the Packers as 7-point favorites in that game. So they win, they stay atop as the number uh, one seed in the NFC. For the Browns, though, uh, they just, they're just they not an AFC playoff contention right now. you know. And, and if they lose this game, it's going to be very, very hard for them to get into the AFC wild card uh, moving forward. And then for the Colts and Cardinals, in that game, the Cardinals are uh, a favorite to win, but only by one point. So the Colts are actually favored you know, to keep this game kind of close. But the Cardinals are going to win, uh, and that updates their record. And uh, again, nothing really is happening in this playoff simulator right now. So after Thursday, after Saturday's games, after Christmas, like it's it's not going to be affected by that much. But then you get into Sunday. Then you get into Monday. Let's just pick those games and see who's going to win and what are the odds. Like what's going to happen after these games uh, were to occur. So first, let's start off with the uh, Lions and the Falcons. The uh, Falcons are six-point favorites. Let's pick them, right? Then the Bucks and the Panthers. We've got the Bucks as 11-point favorites. Pick them to win. All of a sudden, they move up to the second seed. Okay, okay, okay. And then we've got the Ravens and the Bengals, AFC North battle. Between this game, uh, we've got the Bengals as the favorites. So if we pick them, currently the Bengals are the fourth seed. We pick them. They move on up to the third seed after the outcome of that game, if they were to beat the Baltimore Ravens. Between the Chargers and the Texans, in that game, we've got the Chargers as 9.5-point favorites. Pick them to win. They move up. Actually, no, they stay at the fifth seed right there. Uh, between the Rams and the Vikings, that's that should be a good game. I, I, I think it might be more high-scoring. Uh, the Rams and the Vikings, I think the Rams are the favorites right here. Yeah, three-point favorites. So they win. Minnesota now loses their seventh seed, uh, which is big, and the Rams continue to... Uh, make a statement in the wild card race. You got the Bills and the Patriots in that rematch. It won't be that windy, windy anymore, so uh, hopefully the Bills uh, have a chance of winning, but the Patriots are still the favorited, favorited ones to win in this game. So the Patriots, two and a half point favorites. They move on up to the second seed. That does affect the wild card picture for the Bills because if the Bills were to win this game, uh, that, that affects the seventh seed. Like you've got Pittsburgh now moving up. The Bills are up in the fourth seed. So even just by one single loss, the Patriots win. The Bills automatically are out of the AFC wildcard race if the playoffs were to start after Week 16. Between the Jaguars and the Jets, hey, in our power rankings, it's number 32 versus number 31. Who's favorited to win in this game? Uh, in this game, we've got the Jets actually as the favorite, so let's pick them. It doesn't really affect the AFC playoff picture because both teams are eliminated at that point. Uh, now we've got the Giants and the Eagles Uh to play in the early window. And the Eagles are big favorites, 10-point uh, favorites, and they continue to ride as the seventh seed. Uh, and so that's your early afternoon window right there. Uh, this is what the playoff picture would look like if all those games went to the favorited ones. Uh, but now let's transition into the uh, late afternoon games. You've got three of them. you got uh, the Bears and the Seahawks. And in this game, uh, the favorited wins are the Seahawks. Let's see by how many points. Yep, uh, minus six and a half. So if we pick them to win, how does that affect the NFC playoff race? doesn't really affect it. The Bears are eliminated. The Seahawks need a lot of help to get inside of the playoffs. Now for the Steers and the Chiefs, this is a big for 
seeding and for the Steelers that are 7, 6, and 1, uh, the Chiefs are 8.5 point favorites. So if we pick them to win, all of a sudden you got the Steelers going outside of the AFC playoff picture. So this is, you could consider it a must win for the Steelers going into week 16. The Chiefs stay on top of the first seed. For the uh, Broncos and the Raiders, uh, I believe the Raiders are the favorite in this game because uh, Drew Locke is going to be starting. And yes, but it's only by one point. Uh, so if we pick the Raiders to win, even if it's by a point, how does that affect? Yep, Las Vegas now moves up to the seventh seed. And for the Broncos, it makes it more and more tough to make the AFC playoff picture. So that's after the late afternoon window games. Now you got the Sunday night football game between Washington and the Cowboys. You could consider this a must win for Washington at this point. So they got six and eight. But the Cowboys at 10 and four, they're looking pr- kind of pretty uh, in the lead with the NFC East. But if they're the favorites to win in this game, which they are 10 and a half point favorites, then you've got them now moving up to the second seed. So it was the Bucks and the Cardinals that were number two and number three. The Cowboys immediately move up from the number four seed to the number two seed, inching closer and closer to the number one seed, which Green Bay's kind of running away with it. But let's see what happens after week 16. And then the Monday night football game between the Dolphins and the Saints. Uh, it does affect the playoff picture just a bit. But in this game, we've got the Saints as the three-point favorites. Dolphins on a little bit of a win streak, but Saints are favored to win. And after all the simulations, all the favorites winning, it doesn't really affect the playoff picture. So after week 16, if the favorites were to win this game, this is what it would look like. You've got the Chiefs and the Packers still on top of the uh, number one seeds of the respective conferences. Now for the uh, playoff picture, you've got Las Vegas now jumping up into the wild card race. Uh, Cincinnati is just making a claim and they're moving up and up and up. Uh, and then the Colts as well, even though they were to lose this game, uh, they will still stay at the sixth seed. Uh, over on the NFC side, you've got the Cowboys. Again, the biggest thing is they move up to the second seed and the Buccaneers and the Cardinals drop down. Even if they were to win the respective games, the Cowboys would move on up because of tiebreakers and things of that, that nature, even though they're all 11 and four. But that is your uh, playoff simulator. If all the games were to be simulated and won by the favorites this week in week 16. Uh, We're going to come out with our weekly picks where we ask the fans and we give you our opinions on who we think is going to win. But this is just based off the favorites. So leave your thoughts and your comments down below.